my daughter Emma. First time I felt you move like time, like a spiral staircase in the eye of the storm, and I stood still and listened in the dark to a peculiar thing. Five inches above my belly button, there's a heartbeat. Five inches below, there's another heart. Tied up to my belly button by a cord of hope, my first child. Sweet daughter of mine, you come from a long line of against all odds. You were conceived on your grandparents' bed in our old country, Albania, at a time when wars had ceased to be fought, but the wounds still oozed dark blood beneath cracked foundations of pyramid scheme hopes. And your father and I, we took a brief flight back to be reminded what was hurt us, what, what was lost. It was a cold and bitter winter, and one night there was no electricity nor heat, so your father and I went to bed early, and we sparked like stone, striking against stone until the flame burst into light, and then we rested content in that heat that unraveled from our souls and cocooned into you. By the time I flew back to the States, my womb was the size of a grapefruit, so I smuggled you in through customs like a rare and precious seed, carefully tucked in the pink folds of my flesh. I came home and took a home pregnancy test. It said to wait three minutes, but I had no watch. So I spoke a slam poem to my image in the mirror, God and grace, for you are not what I deserve for my past, and it is a peculiar thing to have wrestled with words all the days of my existence and to suddenly find rest in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye as you move like time tied up and carved out of my womb, a poem of flesh and bones perfectly woven in two tongues with nothing lacking in context, no language barriers to overcome, a manifesto and a sonnet, an anthem and a song, sweet daughter of mine. I pray you live a life of words well kept and truths unbroken. Earn a name that is not misspelled nor misspoken. Love all souls the same and owe nothing to none. Know its power but never use a gun. Judge people like a blind man by the shape of their speech then smile to the ones with accents for they are your kin. Pilgrims and strangers in a world unworthy of them. They were all ones just like you, citizens of the womb, so never despise hands that work and brows that sweat. To the widow, be a daughter. To the orphan, be a sister. Speak up, for who does not speak English, send up for the weak in the playground. Be blind to fear and bold to shine. Yes. May your lips quiver at the sight of beauty, but your eye not blink at the face of tyranny. May your anger be barren and your grace abound. May your virtue be fierce and your honesty unmoved. Pray when you lack wisdom. Sing when you're afraid. Love at all costs. Listen to prophets and poets. Love books and beauty. Abhor evil and lies. Always remember to be a child. Open the door when God knocks in your heart. When you doubt, the blood will lead you home. Trust in it and you'll stand approved before the righteous throne. Live for what matters. Die for what is right. Be a poem that all inspire to write. Be a poem that all will know by heart when you are gone and your three minutes are up. <laughs>